This is absolutely crazy. There are hundreds of eagles behind me, flying everywhere, catching fish. It is just the most incredible experience that I think I've ever witnessed. Welcome to the Eagle Show. everyone and welcome back to my channel. Right now I am in Campbell River on Vancouver Island in British Columbia and I'm just about to hop on a tour that's going to take our group out to witness a phenomenon that only happens in this part of the world for one to two months of the year. So let's hop in the boat and get going. I'm really excited. Matt, are you excited? I'm excited. So stoked. We boarded a boat with Eagle Eye Adventures for a scenic one hour ride to our destination. When we were about halfway there, our captain spotted a black bear searching for a bite to eat on the shore. He, or she maybe, was flipping rocks over in search of crabs, barnacles, and other tasty seafood snacks. I was so excited by this sighting that I almost forgot we were on our way to see hundreds of eagles. Almost. So we've arrived and now we just wait for feeding time. The ocean here is known for its wild currents and whirlpools, which create upwells that force juvenile hakefish up from the depths and trap them at the surface, creating the ultimate seafood buffet for the eagles. Locals here have nicknamed this phenomena the Eagle Show, which perfectly depicts what we are about to see. Every minute that we waited, more and more eagles arrived. I have never seen so many in one place. It was truly a sight to behold. Our guide called them Christmas ornaments because you can see their little white heads from a distance decorating the trees. Then all of a sudden, like the flip of a switch, the eagles took flight from the trees, and the show began to unfold. Our guide told us that there were probably 300 to 400 eagles present. That is absolutely wild and I'm still beaming from the day. Since I was using my telephoto lens, I was able to get a close look at the eagles. After watching them for a while, you start to see their individual personalities come out. One of my favorite moments was watching this juvenile eagle pluck out one of his awkward phase feathers. The adult sitting next to him almost looks embarrassed and looks over at him like, really? I thought this interaction was pretty cute. Speaking of juvenile eagles, they were actually some of my favorites. This one soaring in the air with the forest backdrop was so beautiful. The light shimmering on its brown feathers had me captivated. Another very cool thing I witnessed was this eagle snatching up a fish and then proceeding to eat it immediately after while still airborne. I think they do this to prevent another eagle from trying to steal their catch. All in all, it was a seriously epic day, and I think it's safe to say that I'm officially addicted to filming videos of birds and wildlife in general. After the show died down, it was time to head back to Campbell River. On the boat ride back, we got to see more of what this area is known for. This is called a standing wave. The best way I know how to describe how it forms is that it is made up of two waves of the same frequency traveling in opposite directions, giving it the appearance of standing still. 
carrying on, we saw a few humpback whales before making it back to Campbell River. This was my first time seeing this kind of whale, so it was the perfect way to end an incredibly magical day. Thank you so much, Eagle Eye Adventures, for this incredible experience. I will 100% be back. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos that I put out. I would appreciate that so much. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Anyway, that's it. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Bye.